sunshines all of you i hope everyone's doing okay so as you can see from the title of this video i'm going to be doing another mental health related video and i'm going to be doing a video on how i recovered from my eating disorder anorexia so i know that this could be quite a sensitive subject for people because if i mention calories or restricting or anything along them lines i know it can be quite triggering so if you get triggered by this kind of talk then i don't really want you guys to watch this because i don't want to trigger people because that's not my intention but i don't know how this video is going to plan out or go so yeah i just wanted to slap that slap that i just wanted to put that in there before i do this video because i don't know what i'm going to say i'm just going to ramble as i always do but yeah anyway let's go on with this video so the way i recovered from anorexia was that I have quite a few ways of how I recovered from my eating disorder. The main reason is, is that I got put on a medication, which is called metazapine, and that increased my appetite. So I'm not joking, like it always made me hungry. So I was constantly eating and it was very hard for me to accept that because obviously I've only just, I only just overcame my eating disorder anorexia and I was still very underweight. Just by the time I was put on the meds, I was already binging on some foods and purging. So that obviously made me realise that I obviously needed food and that my body was missing the food and the calories and the things that we basically always need in food. I was sneaking in food and I was binging and hiding food from my parents. It made me realise that I need to start eating again and I need to challenge myself to like eating normal meals a day because going from starving yourself like so many hours a day to then binging and purging on like food and hiding it you've got to like eat healthily and you've got to eat the right portions at the right time if that makes sense and obviously I wasn't doing that and I was still ruining my body even though I was eating I was still ruining my body and that it just made me realize that we all need food to to survive and that starving yourself isn't isn't an option because a car won't work without fuel i know that's a cliche saying but it's so true another way that i overcame my eating disorder was i started eating like the meals that my parents would make but i would only eat smaller portions of them so i didn't feel too overwhelmed by what i was going to be eating and then after i realized that that wasn't going to kill me and that it wasn't the end of the world and that food isn't the enemy i started like building up the food a bit bigger like to normal portions if that makes sense so slowly start off with a smaller portion and slowly get to a normal portion if that makes sense so start off like having smaller portions because then it's not too overwhelming another way i overcame my eating disorder is i started setting myself weekly challenges so what I mean by this is, say that you want to challenge yourself to eat in a certain food. So one week you could say, I want to challenge myself to eat a chocolate bar. So then you could eat, you could try and eat a chocolate bar that week. And then the week after you could set yourself another challenge. So you could set yourself a challenge to eat like some pizza or a takeaway or, or anything like that. So it's just setting yourself different challenges and actually when when you've done that it makes you feel so much better because then you finally achieve something and you've beaten anorexia or your eating disorder another way that i overcame anorexia was when you have an eating disorder you love to be in control and being in control of what you eat is so important to you to you and anorexia so i just found keeping control of other things in my life so doing like things which could keep you distracted and so that's when I came to YouTube because YouTube actually helps me a lot because I can control what I'm doing, I can control what I'm filming, I can control my editing and everything along them lines. So finding something which you can control but in a healthier way so it's not going to damage yourself. So instead of controlling what you eat, control something else in your life. So that could be like control the way you do your makeup or the way you do your hair, or even if you do a YouTube video, like control what you post or anything like that really. It's about finding healthier ways of controlling your life, if that makes sense. Another way I overcame anorexia was that if I was going to be eating something, 
I don't really want to be focused on just the food because then I'm just overthinking and I'm just dwelling on everything that's going to go in my body. So I would recommend keeping distracted whilst you're eating because then you're not too focused on the food. So what I mean by this is either watching TV, reading a book or playing a game whilst eating. So then you're not like focused on just your eating. Another way that I overcame anorexia was making sure that I deleted some of the calorie counting apps on my phone and just get anything that would remind me of what I'm eating because if you have it in front of you like what you're eating and how many calories like you're going to be so fixated on that number and that's all you're going to be focusing on so maybe delete that off your phone and just get rid of all the calorie counts apps because then you're not going to be fixated on what you're going to be eating and how many calories are going to be in each item of food and maybe replace it with like a distraction but yeah they are the main reasons that helped me recover from anorexia i know everyone will be different because everyone has different eating disorders if you have an eating disorder and everyone will cope with different things but but at the end of the day you are the only person who can make that change for yourself as no one else can choose whether you want to recover or not so you've just got to be in the right frame of mind to be able to recover from an eating disorder because if you're not in the right frame of the mind then it's not going to happen so and I know it's really hard to get into the right frame of mind and I know that's when some people need more help with that because their eating disorder has got so much deeper so they need more help but it's just taking things slowly it's just taking things step by step and not rushing into things because then if you rush into things that's when you're going to get too overwhelmed and that's when you're going to take more steps back why is my cat meowing come on darling come on in come on in what's up darling what's up darling he keeps meowing at the moment i don't know what's up with him so anyway guys i hope you all enjoyed <laughs> Sound. <laughs> Mate, I've got to press, I've got to stop the recording. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on my next video.